Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday haul. It's Friday, July 21st. Hope everybody is doing great and that you had a wonderful week. Looking forward to the weekends. Things are good here. It's very busy this week with appointments and taking uh, kids places and yeah, just doing stuff around the house. So I did get some shopping in, I got some online orders in, so I'm looking forward to showing you everything. And so let's get started. All right, so the first order I got in was from Jaded Blossom. And I don't think I've ever ordered from them before, but I was watching a um, video by Marilyn G. Again, hi Marilyn. And she used this stamp set and I just thought it was so cute. Now I typically, associate Jaded Blossom with gnomes. So I think that's why I don't really look on their channel because I don't, I'm not really into gnomes, but they have other stuff too, apparently. So let me show you what I got. So I got this stamp set, which is called Gingerbread Candies Revamp. And it's got all these cute little gingerbread and like candy sayings that you could put on a gingerbread candy or just on a circle and cut it out like and make a tag or an embellishment or something. So those are all the cute little sayings. And I love the one that says goody goody gumdrops. Isn't that cute? Peace, love and sweets, keep calm and eat cookies. And then these have just like a, like the sayings in a circle. So you could put those in the middle if you want to. This is what the stamps look like. And then there's gingerbread kisses. These little guys are adorable. It looks like this one's a girl because she has little eyelashes, if you could tell. And then just the boy one. So uh, this is adorable. And I like the peppermint candy one. Some of, them, some of them have stitching around them. Some just have a solid line. And there's like a button heart one. Oh, there's another gingerbread. I didn't even see that one. So super cute. Thanks for showing that, Marilyn. I would never have known about that otherwise. And of course, I had to pick up some more things while I was there, just a couple. I got this stamp set called Tea Icons, and it's got all these cute teapots and a tea bag, a teacup, a stack of teacups there too. And then also like just a little dangling label for a tea bag. And there's tea kettle, so all sorts of tea implements. I thought this was very cute, really good size. I think these would be good like on the, um, on the like, uh, what's it called? It's like grandma's stove or something from Peddler's Pack. Uh, I think that would be really, really cute. I don't know what this is. What is that? Looks like, I don't know. Maybe it goes this way. I don't know. Hopefully I can figure that out. And uh, yeah, so I got that one. And then I found these, there were a bunch of cute face stamps on the Jada Blossom website. So I got this one called Fun Faces. I thought they were really, really cute. And you know I have a problem drawing faces like freehand. So I thought it'd be so much easier to use these. I do have some Peachy Keen stamps, but it'd be nice to have like a different look to some of my projects, I think. So that's why I picked these up. And they're really cute faces. Look at that one, just like a little laughing guy. There's a winky face. And yeah, they look like a good size too. So that's what I got from Jaded Blossom. They're having a raffle, which I got a ticket. You get one ticket per $25 spent between July 7th and 24th. So if you wanna order from them, order in the next few days and you'll get a raffle ticket. So that will be drawn in August. So just wanted to show you that in case you're interested. All right, let's see. I placed an order with scrapbook.com because um, like I think I mentioned last week, KS Crafts newest release has a lot of Halloween uh, dyes. So I thought I would get some Halloween papers. And then of course I got some other things too. So let me show you, well, this, I got one of these pops, pops of color for free. And I think I had put one in my cart another time they were for free and I forgot to take it out. So this time I got the copper one for free. This, oh, that's gold. Is this copper? Yeah, this one's copper I got for free. They must have been having a promotion one time where the gold one was free and I put it in my cart and never ordered and I guess I left it in my cart. So I paid for this one, but that's okay. I like both colors and I'm getting quite a collection of these pops of color. So I thought, you know, they're both nice to have. So I also got this die set. This is a new one by Karen Berniston. And I don't think I have any of her dies, but this one's called Baking Charms. And I, you know, I love baking dies, a lot of us do. 
and I can't resist like little utensils and bowls and things like that. And these are a good size too. And they have like little, well, they're called charms. So you can make them into charms or just hang them from a dangle or a tag or something. And, or just, you know, just leave them as part of the embellishment. And what I liked about the, uh, the oven mitt, see it's uh, like kind of scalloped if you could tell. You probably can't tell. Let me open this up and we can see. But I think I might have an oven mitt die, but nothing that looks like this. And since it was new, I figured I would get it while I was there. So yeah, see how it cuts out? Not super scalloped, but a little bit of pattern on there. And this bowl is cool too. You could cut that a couple times and paper piece it. And add a heart decoration. Love the rolling pin with the heart and just all the other ones too. So pick that up. I'll put that back in the wrapper later. And oh, another reason I ordered is I wanted to pick up a little more retro summer because I just have a few things. I have the 12 by 12 collection kit and I think I had the brads, but I wanted some more of the papers. So I got the six by eight pad and I won't do a full flip through, flip through because I know you guys have seen this before. I flipped through the 12 by 12 already, but these are just all the same. Yeah, all the same patterns as are in the other uh, pads and things like that. So isn't this a great collection? I see a lot of people are using this this summer. It's just lovely. And then I also got this from that collection. These are the retro sign bits. So I thought these would be really nice for ephemera. Right? They're all just like, look like metal signs. Yeah. Very, very cute. And you can use them as journaling pieces too. You know, just like stick them in a pocket and then right on the back of them. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Floating, it's time to relax. Lemonade stand, popsicle bar. That's cute. Ice cream, lifeguard on duty. So I don't remember like in other collections having like a sign um, you know, dedicated ephemera pack. I guess t it depends on the collection and this one really lends itself to that. So I figured I would get that. So that's it for a retro summer. And I got this for free as well. This was the scrapbook.com word dies and it's just the word joy with the shadow and the letters J-O-Y have little stars embossed on them. So that's really cute. Looks like these cut out separately and then you just layer it on top of the shadow part. I love when they give out dies for their free gifts. And then, okay, I think the rest is Halloween related. Yeah, I, I picked up these shape sprinkles from Doodlebug. They're tiny candy corns, <clears throat> excuse me, and they have all cute little faces on them. And what collection is this from? Mm, I don't know. It was from last year though. I don't think I have this. It's possible, but I got those. And then I got a bunch of single 12 by 12s and then a collection kit. So let me start with the singles. I picked up one of these. This is by Memory Place, and this is called Halloween in Dreamland by Azuka. And this is the sweet and spooky paper. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And um, yeah, it's not typically my style, but I thought I could do a little, you know, cut off sections of this to use in projects. And I do like this bottom piece too. You know, I think that would be good for a background of a card. It's got the cable knit sweater that kind of disappears into the night. So I thought that was adorable. And look at that little um, bunny on the strip. You could definitely use these little guys too. So cute images, right? I love these jars here. And then the back is just a like a, um, looks like a flannel plaid. So there's that one. And then I got a bunch of Doodlebug ones. This is Ghost Town, which came out, is that the one? Oh, this one came out in 2020. So I love this candy corn print. And it has little polka dots on it too. It's in black, the back, oh, black backgrounds. And then the other side is orange with um, black polka dots. And this one's called So Corny. I got this one. This is from the Happy Haunting Collection, which came out 2021 and it's just a cute little scene of a haunted house and a graveyard cute little ghosts and 
pumpkins and just really cute images I thought so really pretty and then the back of that has the skull and crossbones this one's called fright night and then this one is from Bella Boulevard and it's from spell on you this one is called happy Halloween I love the yellow background of this and there's a cute little witch with her black cat, a ghost, a jack-o'-lantern, bats and frogs and stars and stuff. Cute ghost. Did I say that already? Anyway, it's adorable. And then the back of that one is just this polka dot. Oh, tiny polka dots. They're like gray on a black background. And then this one is from Ghost Town as well. This one's called Hocus Pocus Plaid. So it's black with gray trees on it with all different color owls and stars and it's got moons as well. And the back of that is that pretty plaid. And then this one is from Ghost Town too. It's got a candy print. This one's called Treat Yourself. So all sorts of cute hard candies and taffies and stuff. And the back is a white background with multicolor polka dots. And then I got this one from Happy Haunting. This one's called Along Came a Spider. So I love the ones that have strips. I always cut these apart and use them as borders on my projects. It says, Hello Pumpkin, Happy Halloween, Life is Sweet, Trick or Treat, and then all the different headstones like we're on the, uh, on the other page in the scene. So very cute. Yeah, I love cutesy Halloween not into like the scary or realistic looking stuff. And that's the spider with the purple. And then is this the last, yeah, this is the last 12 by 12, also from Happy Haunting. This is called Happy Haunting. So it's a white background with all the cute little images on it. And then the back is big polka dots on black background. So that should keep me busy. And then I got this doodle bug essential kit and this one was on sale uh, for $7.69. So if you want to get it, they probably don't have too many of it left. So just search for doodle bug essentials ghost town on scrapbook.com. So let me show you what it comes with. Well, I'll show you quick on the back and then I'll open it. So it comes with papers. This is everything. It comes with stickers, alphabet, um, stickers, spreads, organdy rip, organdy ribbon, and a doodle pop. Okay. I thought it was organza. But maybe that's something different. Sorry for the crinkling. Sorry guys. This is from 2020. But who cares, right? I don't need to have like the latest as long as it's cute. Okay. So, get that off. Here's the doodle pop that it comes with. Oh, that's so cute. I love the little stars too. These are all kind of stuck together. There's the organdy ribbon. It's um, sheer green with uh, black and orange polka dots on it. And then the brads are adorable little ghosts and the pumpkins, right? So cute. I'd like this shade of purple or these shades of purple for Halloween. And of course they all work together with the papers that I got. Here are the stickers. So they're stuck together too. So there's this cardstock sheet from Ghost Town. Look at those little images. I love the black cat. Reminds me of my Holly. She never comes in here when I'm shooting a video. So you guys don't know Holly, but um, that reminds me of Gus. You guys know Gus. And then it comes with these alphas, which I don't use very often, but that's okay. Once in a while you need them. And then the papers it comes with are this one. Whoops, dropped something. Look at those ghosts. How cute are they, right? This one's a good spirits one. Some of them have bows or like um, bow ties. Others have bows in their hair or whatever would be hair flowers, just all different colors on like a light blue background. And then, oh, it was a, one of my pops of color fell over. Then this one that has these cute little frogs. My niece, Abby, loves frogs, so I should make her a card with this. This one's called Happy Halloween. And that's the back, Happy Halloween. And then this one, which is the one that I showed you already, so now I have a double. 
And then this one is one of their iconic plaids. This one's called Boutique Plaid. So the, oh good, the back is uh, journaling pieces, cut aparts, perfect for albums. And then this spider one is super cute. It's got like a teal um, spider web and cute little spiders. It's called Spunky Spiders. And the back is a black and white stripe. And then, oh good, another one of the candy corns. I love this one. And the back looks like that. So that's what I got from scrapbook.com. Glad to have those because I did get in my KS Craft Design Team package for July and there are lots of great Halloween dies in there. Some back to school too and I'm working on those first but then I'll be working on Halloween so it's nice to have these. All right, let's move on. I've got a few more things to show you. I was at Walmart and I only got one semi-crafty thing. I picked up this composition notebook in the school supply section. I thought it was really, really pretty. And I use notebooks all the time when I'm crafting to write down like things for my videos, um, you know, things I want to tell you guys that I don't want to forget, write down the, you know, official names of dyes and things like that. So I uh, picked that up. It was two something. I forget what, but uh, that's the brand Sunshine and Sage. And it feels like a really good um, quality notebook too. So there was that from Walmart. And oh, I forgot to tell you from scrapbook.com, if you didn't see this on their site, they have a Rose Quartz Misty either coming out or it's out already. It says coming soon, but uh, yeah, it's got light pink on the edges. I won't get it because the one I have is fine, but uh, if I didn't have one, I would totally get this one. I love that light pink. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on. Uh, Timu, I got a couple things that were not in my... Um, collaboration package. I order separately from them too. So I saw these slippers and I thought they were so cute. So pick these up and I'll link them below if they're still available. They're a little big on me. I ordered the size that said seven or seven and a half to eight, but um, I should have looked at the number size on the size chart because they're 40 to 41, like the European size. And I'm usually the uh, 38 to 39. So I should have gone down a size. So, but I could still wear them. They're just a little big. Aren't they so cute? They're really soft and cushiony. I think they were, let's see, they were $9.48 when I bought them. And they come in other colors too. They come in white and I think, I forget what the other color is, purple maybe or yellow. But uh, yeah, super cute and soft. And I love slippers like this that you could just slip on. So I got those and then I picked this up too. This is a little hanger thing and this was this was like less than a dollar but I needed to make my order over ten dollars I think so I just added this and it was in my cart anyway I did want to get it so what I'm going to use this for is I have like a wire um, kind of like an overhead shelf in my laundry room and when I'm uh, drying like bras and stuff I don't like to put them in the dryer so I thought I could use this to just kind of hook them on to dry so, and that comes in different colors too. I'll link that below if you would like to see that as well. And then I went to Michael's just to see what was going on there. I got a few things on clearance. I picked up this pack of stickles. It was on clearance for $3. So it comes with, let's see, does it say the names on them? No, of course not. Uh, I don't know, but it's this pretty like greenish aqua color, more of a turquoise and then a blue. So I don't have these colors. I thought it'd be nice to add. So $3 from $7.99 is a really good deal. And then I got some labels that were on clearance. I picked up these from Celebrate It. They were $2 from $5.99. And these are good for either like baked treats that you, you know, create and want to add them to a card or just onto the cellophane, you could do that. Or put them on other things in your, you know, other like tags or cards or whatever. So it comes with a few of the same of each. So there's that one, there's this one, yummy things are inside, worth the calories, nom nom nom, handmade, yum. Is it just those two or is there another one? Oh, there's another one. Treat yourself, <laughs> eat dessert first, enjoy. There's a little hat, rolling pin and spoon. Yeah, it's just those three. So very cute, right? For two bucks and it's nice gold foiling. And then I got two of these 
these are just labels. These were a dollar from $4.49, and there's 45 of them. And again, these have the gold foiling, and I started to use some already. I, I label everything in my craft room, so I needed some to label those new trifold folders that I showed last week, so that's what I was doing with those. So there's that. And oh, I forgot to show you this from scrapbook.com. Just kind of popped up. I've got the, the sequin mix, and this is called, let's see, um, does it say on the back? Yes, Halloween Felines, and it's from Picket Fence Studio. I like their sequin mixes. They're so pretty, and they don't give you a whole lot, but what they give you is really, really nice. So this one has little orange, well, orange outline cats and black outline cats. The black ones have little bows in their hair and then the orange ones just have a little bit more detail on the ears and stuff and then there's black sequins orange looks like maybe some pink or holographic and then also those little like I forget what you call those but the these ones here that look like little tubes so really pretty right kind of like a copper look to them and I thought it was different with the cats so that's why I got that sorry I forgot to show you that and I have a few more things from Dollar Tree. Let me get those out, hold on. All right, so my area has a Dollar Tree that has a Dollar Tree Plus in it. So I found this doormat and it was $5 for a 16 by 28 inch. And I have a, like a, I have a mat, um, uh, in front of my front door outside and it has kind of a tray that goes along with it you just uh, replace the the, um, the mat inside seasonally so I thought this would be great for Halloween look how cute it is I know I can't really show the whole thing but it's got ghosts it's got stars it's got a haunted house in the background and then another ghost there so for five dollars for these that's a great price and it's really nice and thick it's like rubber you know and Let's see what else. That's just what it says on the back. They had a few other varieties, but I like this one the best. And then I got a couple of these steaks. They had them in orange too, but I like the white and there were only two white ones left. This is big as well. This is a big three stack of pumpkins steak. And this was $5 also. And it's got copper leaves and a stem on it. And look at the embossing, isn't that pretty? So yeah, I picked up two of these. I thought they'd look nice either like in the big planters on my porch or just along the pathway. Um, they had one box of them and there were only two white ones left. And as soon as I walked away from it, somebody came up and took the, the rest of the orange ones. So I was glad to get these when I was there because I probably wouldn't have been able to pick them up. So I thought you could decorate these even a little bit more, maybe add like a fabric bow to them. Um, you know, something, maybe a, a tie of raffia on them. I think that would look nice too. So yeah, that's it for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you're up to, what you've been buying lately. Uh, I'm going this weekend to my niece's graduation party. I was at her graduation in June, but her party is um, this weekend. So we'll be, my whole family will be heading to that. And let's see, what else? I think that's about it for now. So I will be back soon. I have another video for Scrap Diva Designs coming up next week. Also, the first of my July projects for Chaos Craft is coming up. I just put out a Timu video the other day. Um, with It was another sponsored video. If you'd like to check that out as well, it's probably the one before this one in my video list. And that's it. So, oh, I want to thank you guys. I just uh, passed 9,000 sub subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribes to my channel. It means so much to me. And we're going to be having a big giveaway once we get to 10,000 subscribers. So um, stay tuned for that. Hopefully it won't take too, too long. But, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so we can, you know, enjoy another giveaway. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching and stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye, everyone.